worship the Lord. Hallelujah. We come to praise his name. And so we, we just um, want to take some time, just get people settled a little bit, and then we're going to ask our Reverend Psalms to come forward. He's going to offer up the prayer of consecration and do our call to worship for us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Just waiting for a second. Amen. Eternal God, O oh Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of the three Hebrew boys. Father God, we come this morning, O oh Lord. We come into your presence, Heavenly Father. Oh Lord, we come, oh God, with no other intention but to worship you, to lift up your holy name, Jesus, to give you all the glory and all the honor. This man, oh heavenly Father God, in no other name but in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I lift this prayer, O oh merciful Father God. I pray, God, if there is any doubt in anyone's mind, O oh God, I pray, Lord, that you will clear those hearts, O oh Heavenly Father God. I pray this morning, O oh Heavenly Father God, that you will give us the faith of the friends of the paralyzed man. I pray, Heavenly Father God, you will give us the faith of the centurion man. I pray, O merciful Father God, that you, O God, will take us. I pray this man, O Heavenly Father God, that you will hold us O oh God, with your wounded righteous right hands, and let us, O oh God, look to you, O oh Heavenly Father God, and worship you in spirit and in truth. O oh merciful Father God, hear my prayer of consecration this morning. I pray, O oh God, that you will cover each and every one of us O oh God, under your Shekinah glory, I pray, Heavenly Father God, for those who are on their way coming, O oh God, you will hasten their footsteps. And in the meantime of hasten their footsteps, O oh God, you will bring them safe into your house of praises. Hear us now, Heavenly Father, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Ghost. Tell thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. As we come to do a call worship, I ask that who can be upstanding. Please stand in reverence to the call of worship. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. 
whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my light. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemy and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army beseech me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this is only to do and seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life and to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temper. For in the days of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of the secret tent and set me on high and set me high upon a rock. We'll sing. The Lord, Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent before him. Let the church give a joyful shout to the Lord, our rock and our salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask the praise team to come at this time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, 
Till I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. We want to sing that verse one more time. For your mercy never fails me All my life, all my days I've been held in From the moment I wake up From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head Till I lay my head I will sing of the goodness For my life you have been faithful Yes, you have grown All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am made Of the goodness of God. Oh, my life. Oh, 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 my life, you have been faithful. Oh, my life, you have been good. Oh, my life, you have been so, so good. Of the goodness of God. Say all of my life, all my life, you have been faithful. Yes, you have, Lord. All my life, you have been so. Of the goodness of God, I love your voice, of your voice. You have led me through the fire, oh, oh. the darkest night. You are close like no other. I love you like a father. I love you like a father. I love you like a friend. I will be of the goodness of God. Oh, 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 all my life you have been faithful. All of my life you have been good. All my life you have been. Of the goodness 
presence of God. I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing, I will sing of the goodness. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I will sing of the goodness of God, hallelujah, I will sing, hallelujah, yeah, of the goodness of God. Jesus. Father, we come 
Lord. With nothing in our hands we bring. But simple to the cross we cling. Naked we come to you for dress. Sick and helpless and ready to die. Father, we bow before you. Knowing that you are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the head. We come this morning, Lord Jesus. Just lift the lift. And just to wave it in the sky. We come this morning, Lord Jesus, knowing that you die on the cross for a wretched sinner like me. Father, my God, my excellence, my holy, my righteous, my Jehovah God, I bow before you, knowing that God, I cannot do nothing of ourselves except, except God. You abide with us. I put, I put the, the leader this morning before you. I'm asking you, oh God, she's just a vessel before you. I'm asking you, oh God, that you will strip her. Hallelujah. And I pray that the anointing of God will just flow through her. Let she speak, oh God, as a hurricane thine. Father God, we just invite your presence. We come against every spirit this morning that is not of you. We come against principalities. We come against powers. We come against rulers. We come against every darkness in this place. We come against the Mormon spirit. We come against Pharaoh spirit. We come against Jezebel spirit. We come against every spirit God this morning that we not giving you the glory the honor and the praise God you are worthy cover us this morning let the blood let the blood that spill on Calvary spill from the altar to the brew this morning and Jesus 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 we call your name this morning because we know we cannot do it without you Holy Spirit you're welcome take up your abode take up your abode Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Make the service easy. Make the preaching easy. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Oh, God, we call the backsliders. We call the sinners, God, to repentance. Come, Holy Spirit. Only you alone can do it. Do it for us this morning. And we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for prayer. Our scripture readings today will be taken from Genesis 1, 1 to 6, and our responsive reading will be taken from John 1, 1 to 14, and these will be read by our sister Dorothy McFarlane. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry, I've jumped ahead of myself. The hymn of praise. I do beg your pardon. Thank you, Janet. The lightning flashing, I heard the thunder roll. I felt its breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. I heard a voice.
of the day. He never leaves me alone. And if I'm not with him, I have left him. Because he promised never to leave me alone. Our scripture readings this afternoon is taken from the book of Genesis 1, verses 1 through to 6, and the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through to 14. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. As we stand, and we read, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, beginning with God. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Who were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. us now with a strong voice affirm our faith. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were. 
Praise the Lord. At this time, we are going to receive the prayer of the people. And this will be offered up by our Reverend Errol Psalms. Pray for me. Pray for me. Interceding prayer for me. When you go down on your knees, call my name to Jesus there. Oh, pray for me. Pray for me. Intercede in prayer for me. When you go down on your knees, call my name to Jesus there. Pray for me. Pray for me. In prayer for me, when you go down on your knees, call my name to Jesus' name. Pray for me, pray for me. salvation free from above yes Lord the bond of your spirit you are mine eternal God O oh heavenly father here we are this morning O oh God as we are people merciful father God as we come kneel, O oh God, at your altar rail, O oh Heavenly Father God, which is a symbol, O oh God, of your footstool, O oh Heavenly Father. As you sit, O oh God, so high, looking down so low upon us, your children. Father God, I come this morning, O oh merciful Father God, on behalf of your children. God, I ask of you this man, O Heavenly Father God, that, O God, you will touch, O God, each and every one of us, O merciful Father God. 
Touch us, O oh God, from the crown of our head unto the very sole of our feet. Help us, O oh Heavenly Father God, to recognize and to know that you are the God of our help. Without you, O oh Heavenly Father God, we can do nothing of ourselves. But with you, O oh God, you are everything that we can think of, O oh, merciful Father God. David said, the words of God have I hidden in my heart. Help me, O oh God, that I may not sin against you, O oh Heavenly Father. But, O oh Lord, this man, I do ask you, O oh God, if we do sin against you, Heavenly Father, I ask, O oh God, for your forgiveness. I ask you, Heavenly Father, God, not to turn your back against us, O oh Heavenly Father. I ask you this morning, O oh Heavenly Father, God, not to decline your ears unto my prayer, O oh God. Because you are the God of all. You are the God above. You are the God beneath. You are the God sideways. And you are the God backward. So merciful Father God, we look to you for our help. Lord, this man, O oh God, I pray heavenly Father God, for the one that you have sent, O oh God, to lead this flock. Merciful Father God, you know, O oh God, the reason why he is not here with us, O oh God. This, O oh God, I'm speaking of our pastor, Reverend Marcus D. Tillery. Because of circumstances, oh heavenly God, he have to go to his home, oh heavenly father, to deal with his father's situation. Lord, this morning, oh God, I ask you, heavenly father, God, that you will hold him in the hollow palm of your hands, oh God. I pray, oh God, that you will touch his father, Father Tillery, and you ask your heavenly Father God that you will stay by their side, O oh God. And let, O oh God, every test, O oh God, be right. Merciful Father God, your servants, O oh God, the Reverend George Smith, the Reverend Alfonso Gardner, the Reverend Ilian Gunter, the Reverend Cecil Walker, the Reverend Gertrude Graham, Lord, this man, O oh God, I put each and every one before you, O oh Heavenly Father God. I ask you, Heavenly Father God, that you will touch each and every one, O oh God, from the crown of their head unto the very sole of their feet. For those, O oh God, who are sick, O oh merciful Father God, I ask you, O oh God, to touch their bodies, O oh Heavenly Father. I ask you, O oh God, to strengthen their foot, O oh God. I ask you, O oh God, to put strength in the whole body, O oh Heavenly Father. I ask this man, O oh God, that they will be like the paralyzed man who friends have let him down through the roof of the house, O oh God. And he's in the middle, 
before you, Lord. These are your servants, O heavenly Father God. They are bound, O God, with sickness, O God. So merciful, Father God, I pray this morning, O God. As you said to the paralyzed man, take up thy bedding and walk. I pray this morning, O God, for every disease, O heavenly Father God, that is affecting your people. Alzheimer's, dementia, diabetes, rheumatism, and other various type of diseases, O heavenly Father God. Lord, I ask you, heavenly Father God, that you'll cover your people, O God, and that your, O God, shall kind of glory. I pray this man, O heavenly Father God, that you will stay, O God, with your people, O merciful Father God. I pray this man, O God, that you will abide with us, Lord, as we abide with you, O heavenly Father God. I pray this man, O heavenly Father God, that you will come and sit beside us, O heavenly Father God. I pray, God, for your visitation, O God, in this place today, O heavenly Father God. Lord, we know that you are here, O God. But I'm asking you, O God, as a son come to the Father, O merciful Father God. Because there is anything, O God, that the son need, the son must come to the father and ask, Lord, so this man, O heavenly father, I'm asking, O God, that you will abide with us. Lord, there are so many of your people amongst us who have been sick. O God, remember our dear sister, Cecily. Antonio. God, remember, O oh God, our dear sister, Claudette Rufus. Lord, I ask you, Heavenly Father God, that you will touch her body, O oh God. I will ask you, Heavenly Father God, that every muscle, O oh God, in her body, you will touch them, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, that you will give her healing, O oh God. Remember, O oh God, Mother Right. Remember, O oh God, your daughter, Sister Shana, O oh God. Although we are see her moving up and down, O oh Heavenly Father God, but her foot is giving her a problem, Heavenly Father. Lord, I ask you, O oh God, that you will touch. I ask you, O oh God, that you will hold her foot. I ask you, O oh God, that you will squeeze every muscle, O oh God, in that foot. I pray, O oh God, that every pin and eagles, O oh God, will remove, O oh God, and go back to the pit of hell where it is from. Oh, merciful Father God. Also, my wife, oh, Heavenly Father. I ask, oh, God, that you will touch her, God. I pray, oh, Heavenly Father God, are she having the same problem as your daughter, Stashana? I pray, oh, God, that you will touch those feet of her, oh, Heavenly Father. I ask, oh, God, that you will touch those hands of her, O oh Heavenly Father God. With, O oh God, she is suffering from carnal disease, O oh God. I pray, God, for everyone, O oh God, who is suffering from this type of disease, O oh God, that you will touch them, O oh Heavenly Father. You will touch them, Lord. You will touch us, Lord. I pray, God, for a healing touch this morning, O oh, Heavenly Father, God. 
O oh, merciful Father, as for myself, O oh God, I was telling my Sunday school students this morning, O oh God, about the wavering that I'm feeling, O oh God. Lord, I feel, O oh God, like when I used to drink and junk, O oh God, and have hangover. My head is just weaving, O oh God. As I walk, I have to hold on to something, O oh Heavenly Father. And you ask the Heavenly merciful Father, God, that you will touch me, O oh God. And you ask, O oh God, for a divine touch, O oh God, for these feelings, O oh God. I ask you, Lord, that you will. You will, you will, you will. Oh, merciful Father God, remember your daughter, her Reverend Sharon Simpson Sr. Oh, God, as she go through major operation, she is only moving, oh, God, because she just cannot stay one place. But, oh, God, you know the agony. She is going through. I ask you, Heavenly Father God, that you will have mercy upon us, your children. I pray this man, oh Heavenly Father God, for your daughter, Reverend Isolene Howell. She is the very same, not a hundred percent fit, oh Heavenly Father God. But I pray this man, O oh God, by our prayer and supplication, O oh God, we leave everything at your footstool, O oh Heavenly Father, where you sit and you answer prayer. Remember, O oh God, the rest of our ministers. Reverend Jim Ferguson. Reverend Tracy and Lawson. Father God, I ask you this man, oh God, let us be a tower of strength to our pastor, Marcus D. Tillery. Father God, help us, oh God, that whatever he may ask of us, oh God, let us not grumble nor mumble, but gently do it with a gladsome heart and a wholesome mind. Merciful Father, remember us in your infinite mercy. Lord, these are your prayer. I do beg and ask on behalf of your people and myself. In Jesus' name, I tell you thanks. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Everyone who has a condition that needs healing, I just want you to raise your right hand at this time. Just raise your right hand if you have a situation that you want the Lord to deal with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Glory to God. My help. My help. My help. All of my help come from the Lord. Lift those hands, lift those hands. My help, my help, my help. All of my help come from. the 
things that we go through that we can't even mention. There's some things we go through that we can't even tell our loved ones. But there is no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot cure. And if you don't get anything else from this service today, know that. Whatever it is that you're going through, there has already been a cure in heaven before the foundation of the earth. We need to understand. We need to understand when the Bible says, by his stripes, we are healed. We are healed from diabetes. We are healed from cancer. We are healed from dementia. We are healed from bad knees. We are healed from sickness. We are healed from mentality of the mind. We are healed by his stripes. And we need to speak it into our lives and let the devil know he has no power or authority over us because we are healed by his stripes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm gonna ask the ushers to get a mic. We're gonna have our welcome address at this time. And I'm gonna ask, I know that we have a baby to bless today. And uh, I know that there are families and loved ones that are here with um, the parents. But if you are not here with the parents, I'm gonna ask anyone who's here for the first time in this uh, in our church today I'm gonna ask you to stand and tell us your name if you are not shy and tell us who invited you to the worship service today is there anyone here for the first time okay all right now I know that uh, uh, somebody's gonna have to speak on behalf of you <laughs> What's, what's, what's baby's name? Kaziah. Welcome, Kaziah. And that's our Deaconess Dawn Powell's grand, first grand. Yes. Amen. So we want to just celebrate the family on behalf of the birth of that be it's a little boy. Kaziah, a little boy. Beautiful little boy in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming, Janet. Welcome to Ransom. Welcome to Ransom. And there's a lovely young lady at the back. My name is Tavani. Afternoon. Hello. Hi, Tavani. Uh, God brought me. Yeah. All right now. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. We thank the Lord for bringing you in the house today. Praise be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's wonderful. So I want to ask the families and the loved ones who, from the baby who's going to get um, blessed today, I'm going to ask you all to stand so we can give you a wonderful ransom welcome. Welcome to ransom. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's wonderful to have you in the house today. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and let this not be your last time. I hope you enjoy the service. I want to extend a wonderful welcome to the Holy Spirit and to our pastor who is online. Uh, you know that his seat is absent, but he had to rush off to take care of business overseas. So we want to continue to pray for him, but we... Sister Jeanette Brown Davis, first time logging onto YouTube. Come on, let's celebrate her. Thank you, tech team. Praise be to God. Thank you so much. And we hope you enjoy the worship service today. And yeah, welcome to our Dr. Tillery, who is across the seas. And I know that he's waving his hands in the air and worshiping God with us this morning. It's very early in the States, so he's been up quite early to be with us today. So we want to thank God for him. And I want to greet my fellow ministers, um, Reverend Iceland Howell, Reverend Psalms, Reverend Ferguson, Reverend Tracy Ann Lawson. I think she's gone to see with the children. And I, God bless you, my dear. And we also have um, Brother Logan, 
Brother Gary and Sister Logan in our worship service today from New Birth. They come to share fellowship with us. We thank God for them. And is there anyone else that I've missed who has not been here? Who was not here last week and is here this week? Chanel was away last week. We want to celebrate Chanel. She's reached a, a milestone in her life. So we want to celebrate that special birthday. I'm not going to say what it is, but she looks like 21 anyway. And of course, we have Re uh, Deaconess um, Hyacinth Busset and, uh, and Sister Olive, who was away from us. They went to Jamaica to um, bury their beloved brother, but they are back safely. We thank God that they are back with us. And to all of God's children, each and every one, to the musicians, to the children, everyone that's here, and our online viewers, we thank you for being in the house today. And we do hope and pray that you will receive something from the Lord in this worship service. At this time, we're going to receive our um, gift of tithes and offerings, and we're going to ask the ushers to prepare themselves. Um, we have a, a card machine. If anyone wants to pay with um, a card, they can do so. Um, please remember, if you are completing your envelopes, if you are putting any funds in your envelopes in the support of the building fund of this church, please make that clear on your envelopes so that our admin team can know where to um, divert those funds to. Amen? Victory shall be mine. Victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Victory shall be mine. Oh, 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 oh,
can come forward. What a beauty. Oh, we love babies. And thank you very much for bringing your beautiful son into the house of the Lord. You've done a great thing. You know, I, I just want to ask this question because we don't really get an opportunity to ask parents this. Are you shy? Don't be shy. Why did you bring your son today? To, so he could be blessed. So you must know the importance of blessing. Some people, unfortunately, they don't bring their children back to be blessed and to give God thanks for them. And it's really important that we do that because that is a life that has been given to you to take care of by Almighty God. And so um, we appreciate that you have um, taken this step to bring your son back into the house of the Lord to be blessed. I'm just going to ask you to stand at this time, parents and godparents. Yes. 
Dearly beloved, for as much as all men are conceived and born in sin, and that our Savior Christ says, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. I beseech you to call upon God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ, and having of his bounteous mercy redeemed this child by the blood of his son, that he will, that he will grant this child, being baptized with water, may be also baptized with the Holy Ghost and received into Christ's holy church and become a lively member of the same. Let us pray. Almighty God, everlasting Father, whom of your great mercy has come down to enter into covenant relations with man, wherein you have included children as partakers of his gracious benefits, declaring that of such is the kingdom of God. And in your ancient church did appoint various baptisms, figuring therefore, thereby the renewing of the Holy, Holy Ghost. And by your well-beloved Son, Jesus Christ, gave the commandment to the holy apostles to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. We beseech you that, out of your infinite mercy, to look upon this child, washed and sanctify this child, that being saved by your grace may receive into Christ's holy church, and being steadfast in, steadfast in faith, joyful through hope and rooted in love may so overcome the evils of this present world and finally this child may attain into everlasting life and reign with you without world without end through jesus christ our lord amen almighty god everlasting god whose most dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of our sins, did shed out of his side both water and blood. Regard, we beseech thee, our supplication, sanctify this water, this oil, for, this, for the holy sacrament, and grant that this child now be baptized, may receive the fullness of your grace, and ever remain in a member of your faithful and elect children through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask our Reverend Howell to come forward. And she's going to offer up a prayer for the parents and the godparents. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God, that you have brought your sons and your daughters into your house to do this act. This is the act that, that Mary did when you were born. It is the act that Anna did when Samuel was born. And we are following their examples. Most righteous God, we worship you today. We lift you up. I touch heaven today for your holy name. And I trust you with their lives. I trust you to look after their children. I trust you, Lord, that when they go to their jobs, they will be satisfied. Glory to God. You will help them to continue to bless your name for their good fortune. I want to praise you today, Lord. I give you the glory. I am grateful that they did this. Because this is a wonderful thing. Jesus said, he blessed the children. He said, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of heaven. Bless them, I pray. In their homes, in their jobs, in school. Give them, oh God, give the little baby when he is a time. Give him good education. Uh, protect him from bullies in the in the school. My God, I have seen so many children, youngsters leave uh, school. They've even done away with themselves because of bullies. But God, I want you to plead the blood over this child. 
in the name of Jesus, cover, cover this child with your Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Ghost be the bishop over his soul. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Can you name this child? Love one. Love one, love you, Tucker. <laughs> All right now. Love one, love Tucker. Hallelujah. Let me just wrap this up very, very quickly. You have heard a lot of encouraging words. And are you God, God parent? Are you a God mom? You also have a responsibility for the well-being of this beautiful child. And I believe it. You know when babies are this age, oh, gooey. And then they grow up. And then they become two. And all parents who know about the two-year-olds, they're not the best at two. They're into everything. But you see, your role is to help mom and dad to ensure child safety. It's not about the buying the trainers and buying all the expensive clothes. It really isn't all about that. That's good, but it's more about the nurturing to ensure that this beautiful son remains a proper child. You know, and I, we will be, I want you to just turn and look at all of the people that are behind you. The people that are behind you are, are your village. We take the responsibility in this church for every child that comes here to be dedicated unto the Lord. They're our children. And so whatever you feel you need, whatever problems you may have, you can come right back here and say, help me. Because that's what we do. We don't just bless your child and say, bye, okay, done. No. We take care of this little life. Because we know as parents, you're going to need support. And so we are here as a church to support you. Amen? Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Let me just read the final prayer. And then I will let you go. Oh God of infinite mercy, the father of all the faithful seed, be pleased to grant unto Lavon an understanding mind and a sanctified heart. May your providence lead him through dangers, temptations, and ignorance of youth. 
that he may never run into folly nor into the evils of an uncontrolled appetite. We pray so to order the course of his life that by good education, by holy examples and by your restraining grace that he may be led to serve you faithfully all the days of his life so that when he has glorified you in his generation and has served the church on earth, he may be received into your eternal kingdom through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You may take your seats. You may take your seats. I'm going to give mom, dad, if you can take this. This is a little love gift from Ransom from us. The certificate and a lovely Bible for your son. Okay? God bless you. Praise be to God. This is something we're celebrating, right? Amen. Amen. At this time, the preacher will preach. And those of you, he's not a stranger to any one of us. Um, our reverend... Errol Psalms will break the bread of life to us today. Um, but before he comes, the Ransom Choir will come forward and prepare the ground for the preacher in Jesus' name.
Permitted, I will surely ask the choir to sing the last verse. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. But because of time. Thank you very much, choir. My lovely song. This afternoon, I just want to give God the keeper, the sustainer, the provider, the everything of my life. I just want to give him thanks for sparing my life to see another Sunday morning and another time that I can stand before his people. I don't take this privilege as granted because God is a jealous God. Once upon a time, two men were talking. And one man said to the other man, How we look? The other man said, How you mean? He said, After we now work, so I could go do something. The next man said to him, said, Do something like what? You see, I go take something from the next man, man. Next man say, you know something, you can't go on, you know? Because me no want God to lick me down. For we do as we talk, we talk good, but when God a ramp him, ramp rough. So therefore, I don't take God's word lightly. I don't take it slightly. I take it very, very seriously. First, I must give God thanks and praise. Then, to my beloved pastor, the Bible said, the beloved who Jesus loved. But this is my beloved pastor who ever I love. Dr. Marcus D. Tillery. Power to you, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then, to my ministering colleagues, Elder Sharon Simpson Sr., Elder Isolin Howell, Elder Kali C. Ferguson and the Reverend 
Tracy Ann Larson in her absent. You know, before I get into my introduction, I just want to take this time to say a big thanks to our bishop. When Reverend Jaime preached, he said something, and I look into it very, very deeply. He said, Reverend um, Bishop Proctor, come and take over. And he is leaving, but he is not leaving the churches as how he came and take it over. And I sit down there and I look into it and I said, you know, when Bishop Proctor come, he take over. And within his period of time, he established two churches were planted under his bishop leadership. In Ransom, we have three elders who were ordained under his leadership and one reverend. Amen? In New Hope, we have one reverend which are ordained and then ordained as elder. In Restum Restoration Kingdom, we have one which were ordained as a reverend, and then she moved up and ordained to an elder. In Ransom, we have three. Let us see if I can break it down. One which were ordained Two were ordained as reverends. And then earlier on, one ordained as elder. The next one were ordained as reverends. Later on, he ordained as elder. Then we have one who were ordained as deacon. Then he ordained as elder. We have one which were local preacher. Then she ordained as a deacon. Amen? In the Midlands, you have, we have two which were move up from position the pastor and one who was um, lift up from reverend to a pastor. Amen? Amen? So when I look into it, I can agree with Dr. Jaime and said, Bishop Proctor does not leave the, the London district and the Midland district as how he come and see it. Amen? Amen? Because right in our own little church here, we have three elders under the leadership of Bishop Dennis Proctor and one reverend. In total, in ransom, four elders and one reverend. Isn't it good? Huh? How can we say God is not smiling upon us? Eh? It's us. It's just for us. It's just for us to lift our head and not to let 
the waters overflow. Amen? This morning, my message to you is in the beginning. My sermon, topic for my sermon is God is and God create. Amen? Two, less, two scriptures that was read this morning. Genesis 1 to 6 and John 1 verse 1 to 14. And Genesis 1 read, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day. And the darkness he called it night. So, the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, let there be a firmament, firmament in the midst of the water and let it divide the waters from the waters. John 1. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the, and the Word was God. Beginning with God. All things were made through Him. And without Him, nothing was made that was made. In him was light, was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. I just keep down to the 14th verse. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth righteous eternal God our heavenly father here I stand O God Nothing but a lump of clay. This afternoon, Heavenly Father, as I stand before your people to bring forth your words, O oh God, I ask you, O oh God, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be my strength and my guide in thee, O oh Lord, my Redeemer, in whom do I put my trust. Amen. Here, Genesis 1, it tells, it tells us that in the beginning, God created the heaven, and the earth. 
But before God create the heaven and the earth, who was before God? Who was before God? Huh? There was no one because there was no beginning. Genesis, the meaning of Genesis is beginning. So there was no one before God. Right? But God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was without form and void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. But within that time, with the darkness upon the face of the earth, there is something happened in that period of time. Amen? And the Bible said, and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. The spirit of God is the third person in the triune God or in the Godhead or in the Trinity. So therefore, the Spirit of God move upon the water. Amen? We all can recall or we heard the preaching that when Peter and the rest were in the boat, when they looked up on the sea, they saw a man. Glory to God. They all catch their afraid. But Jesus said to them, Be not afraid. It is I. Peter, as the bravest, said, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come unto you. And Jesus said, come. Jesus did not say, no, Peter, you cannot come to me from where you are because the water is too deep. We remember the story between Lazarus and Daisy. When Daisy looked up from out of hell, he saw Father Abraham with Lazarus in his bosom. Daisy called out to Father Abraham and said, Send Lazarus to dip his finger with a little water so the tip and to tip it on my tongue because I'm in this flame. But Father Abraham said to Lazarus, not so, Daisy. There is a gulf between us. So Jesus could look and said to Peter, no, Peter, there is a deepness here. You cannot come. But Jesus said, come. And with faith willing, Peter stepped out and began to walk. But when he looked back, not literally looked back, but when he saw the waves rolling up coming to him, his mind reflected back on his boat and he began to sink. And he called out to Jesus, help me. Help me. So this is where the spirit of the living God move up 
are hovering over the water. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. The light, God saw that light was good. So God divided the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And he called the light day. And the darkness he called it night. But there is a difference between light and darkness. When a thing is dark, it is well dark. You can get nothing from it. And because of that, light overpower darkness. There is no darkness that can comprehend light. But light comprehend darkness. Amen? God called it light day. And the darkness he called it night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. In this message again we can look and say God began his work in the evening. Because when we go to scriptures it said the evening and the morning was the first day. Amen? Then God said let the firmament in the midst of the water and let it divide the water from the waters. The firmament is two things. One low, one high. The earth and the sky. In other words, there is a doom. Amen? If you should see a picture and see how a, do, uh, how a doom set, you will realize what I'm talking about. A doom is a round circle. Right? That's how the element of the sky set. So it is the firmament. And God divided. The water below and the water above. Amen? In verse 26, it says that, In verse 26, it tells us about twenty-six. Here, twenty-six. And God said, Come, let us made man. In our image. Now this tell me that it was not God alone. It was God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Amen? If I should say to Reverend Senior and Reverend Howell, if I should say to them, come, let us go round by the George Simit room. I need to speak to you. It is not me alone, is it? Right? When we speak 
of us, it is more than one. If God had said, I am going to make man in my image, we could dearly say, yes, it is him alone. But he said, come let us made man. This is to tell me that Jesus was God himself with God the Father and God the Holy Ghost. In John 1, the beginning, in the beginning was the Word and the Word was God and the Word was God beginning with God. Amen? God spoke and things come into being. Amen? Jesus is God, the Son of God, the, the second of the Godhead. When we look back, when we look at the birth of Jesus, God just could not send Jesus so easily because there is and something has to be done. Jesus is to come into the world. Therefore, he has to be clothed with a human flesh. Amen? So God looked out and see where he could find a body where he could place Jesus to come to us as a newborn babe. So therefore, the angel of the Lord speak to the Virgin Mary and said, God is going to, or God is going to let you conceive and have a son. Mary did not believe, but when the angel perceived to speak to her, Mary said, if it is so, let it be. So therefore, Mary have a son. And he said his name shall be called Jesus. Amen? The reason why Jesus come and he dwell amongst us. The Bible tells us all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. We remember that God sent John to prepare the way for that light. When they began to question John, John said, I am not that light which is to come. Amen? And the light shine in darkness and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man come to witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. Jesus said, I have come, but I have not come for those who are saved. I have come for those who have been lost. 
I has come for those who have been scattered. So Jesus, he did not come for the righteous. He come to take sinners unto repentance. Amen? In verse 14, he said, And the word became flesh and dwell among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten Son, of the Father, full of grace and of truth. Jesus, he was a teacher. He was a lecturer. He was a preacher. He was everything when he walked on this face. And because of the good that he has done, the Pharisees, the scribe and the elders form against him to put him away because he was doing so good. When we remember this man who was crippled, sick for 38 years at the porch of Solomon where the angel certain times the angel came and covered the water whoever is sick and get into the water first he healed but one day Jesus was going to and when he come up on this man he looked at him and he said would you like to be healed the man said yes but every time that the water shovel and by eye to reach there's someone else who get in Jesus said stand up and walk the man looked hey it is me you're talking to sir it is me you're talking to sir but I believe the man said, since you said I must stand up and walk, by your word, I will stand. And he stand and walk. Picked up his mat and walk. But you see, when you are doing good, and when someone who do not like you, they plot all type of way, to get you out of the frame. In the court of Solomon, two guards saw this man coming through with his mat under his arm. They go to him and hold him and said, Do you know it is not lawful for you to carry your mat on the Sabbath day? The man turned and said to, her, to them, The one who healed me said, I must take up my mat and walk. So I pick up my mat and walk. Then they carry him to the Pharisees. They were all sitting at the table. And when they questioned him, and questioned him, the man said, I don't know this man, but he told me to take up my mat and walk. There is another example of the man who was born blind. Jesus saw him, and Jesus stooped, spit in the mud, in the clay, and wiped his eyes, and said, Go. And wash. They saw this blind man walking. 
They said, but is it not you who were blind? He said, yes. But there's a man who put clay on my eye and said, I must go and wash. And here I can see. They take him and interrogate him. They could not get out of him away from, I don't know this man, he is. But he said, I must go and wash. So they call his parents. Trying to get questions from the parents. The parents said, he is old enough. Why asking us? So when we look into the book of Genesis, in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. When we look in John, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. God speak the word in Genesis. And whatever he speak, it come into existence. Jesus come down from heaven, which he take on the flesh of human, and he dwell amongst us, and we did not appreciate him. Because of that, he died for our sins. This afternoon, in closing, My plea and my pledge is that let us look and recognize who God is. Because God is a spirit. God is Jesus. God is a spirit man. The Trinity, the Godhead, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the three loving spirit, never disagree. And because of that, we as children of the light, we walk into the light and not into darkness because darkness cannot comprehend the light because we are the light of the world. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. I give thanks to the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ. Thank Reverend Psalms for that wonderful, powerful word. It is powerful, and it's not everybody can understand it because it takes us into the triune Godhead, where the three in one equal to each other. Praise God. And so it's a powerful message. It's very deep. If you study it, glory to God. God said, I am the beginning, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And I can't, I was saying to, to Reverend Sharon, I was saying, I can't understand that bit because I don't know what was before God. Because he said there was none before him. Yes. Bless God. Nothing. No one. Praise the name of Jesus. So we are serving a mighty, powerful, omniscient, omnipotent God, yes. omnipresent. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's our Rafa, our healer. He will heal us. And I just want to thank him for that. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And if you are in the reach of the preacher's voice and you hear it, the message, we want you to come and the preacher will pray for you. The minister will pray. Because we want you to glorify God with us. We want you to praise Jesus with us. Not only on earth, but in the other life. Because it is a sad thing if you not if you don't enter. Come into church and we don't enter the, 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 the pearly gates. Because it is so sad that when John saw the lamb that was slain, he started to weep. 
Because there was none worthy to open the book. None worthy. Glory to God. I hear them singing a song that you search the world. You go down below. You search underneath. Everywhere there was none like him. But John said to the multitude, he said, we, the angel said to John, weep not. Don't cry. For behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, he is, is worthy to prevail and to open the book. So we have a hope and we have a lively hope. If you need prayer, please come and we will pray with you. If you need to be sanctified, come. Go deeper. If you want the Lord to speak to you more, ask him to help you to read his word and to study it and understand the mind of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help it. Ask him to help you. Ask him to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Come if you want prayer. Just come. Don't look on your friends and say, you know, I can't come because she, that one is not coming. But come to the altar. Leave me at the altar. He's not true with me yet. Said the choir is singing the lost song. And I know it's time to go but something is happening and i can't get off my knees so leave me at the altar for a while why don't you leave me leave i want to be there Just leave me at the altar. He's working it out. I'm feasting. Hallelujah. I'm feasting. Just leave me at the altar. He's not true with me. Heavenly Father, this afternoon, Lord, O oh God, your people, O oh Heavenly Father, God, of kneel, O oh God, at the altar rail, O oh God. There is no one, O oh Heavenly Father, God, who have forced them to come, O oh Heavenly Father, God. But because, O oh God, of your words, merciful Father, which they have heard, O oh God, they have come, O oh Heavenly Father God, with a free mind, a free will heart, O oh God. Just to say, Our Father, remember us. Or to say, Abba Father, have mercy upon me. Oh God, here's your son. 
Father God, he come, O oh God, and he kneel at your altar rail, O oh heavenly Father God. Oh God, I know the reason not. And Lord, I do not know, want to know the reason why. Because everything, oh God, is into your hands. Where you look down, oh heavenly Father God, and you see the heart. Where you read the heart, oh God. You know, God, why he is here. Oh merciful Father God. I am here, O oh God, on his behalf, O oh God. Well, I'd ask you, oh Heavenly Father God, have mercy. Whatever, O oh God, his petition is, O oh Heavenly Father. O oh God, I ask you this afternoon, God, not to decline your ears, O oh God, unto his cry. But I ask you, Heavenly Father God, that you will sustain and you will apply to his needs and his wants. Oh God, you said in your words, if my children ask for a bread, I won't give a stone. And if they ask for a fish, I won't give a serpent. Oh God, and upon the authority of your promise, oh God, I ask you, Heavenly Father God, that whatever, whatever his heart desire, whatever he asks you for, I ask you, Lord, spirit, and not the spirit from granted unto him. This your words, I do ask. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. I tell the tongues in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Shall we praise the Lord one more time? We want to thank the Lord for prayer. We are now going to have our um, Lord's Supper. But before we do that, we're going to ask um, the ushers if you can prepare yourself. It's this time um, of the day and the season where we ask for a ministry of kindness offering. And what that means is if there's anyone who is in need, we raise an offering to help those persons um, people may need to do some shopping and not able to do so. Some people have their bills to pay and not able to do so. But we as a church, we make sure that we have enough in our kitty so that we can help those that are in need. So whenever we, we observe the Lord's Supper on this Sunday, we raise an offering to help such persons. So I'm asking you if you can dig deep and uh, the ushers will come. They will pass the plates around and uh, just pray over your gift before you drop it in the plate and ask the Lord to do mightily with it so that somebody will be blessed. Amen. Praise God.
Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord again. Now as we get, or as we come, to partake of the Lord's Supper. In Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed is that consider. Blessed is he that considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in all in time of trouble. Amen? If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation of our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. Wherefore, you that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbor and intend to lead a new life following the commandment of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take the holy sacraments to your comfort and devoutly kneeling make your humble confession to almighty God congregation almighty God Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of all great mercy has promised forgiveness of sin to all 
them with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto thee, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. are open, make our desires known, and to make no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We do not presume to come to this your holy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness but in your manifold and great mercies, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may live and grow hereby, and that being washed through the most precious blood, we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, who of your tender mercy did give your only son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thee by giving of himself once for all, of all time a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, offering of, and sanctification for the sins of the to for the sins of the whole world, and did institute in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he come in again. Hear us, O merciful Father. We humbly beg you and grant that we, receiving these, your elements of bread and wine, according to your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night when he was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it. He, he blessed it. He took bread. And when he has given thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, when supper was, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink all of this, for this is the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of, of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me.
Jesus come. again we shall never never thirst again and all who drink of Jesus blood shall never never thirst again oh we shall Shall never thirst again. 
It is very meet, right, and our bound duty that we should all, at all times, in all places, give thanks unto, the, unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, hallelujah, Jesus. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and all the company of heaven, we loud and, uh, and magnify thy gr gracious name. Ever more raising, oh, ever more raising that thee and praising thee, raising thee and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory to thee, O Lord, most high. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ. The, Lord, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is given for you to preserve your soul and body until everlasting life. Take and eat in remembrance of Jesus of Christ. Die for you and feed, hallelujah, feed upon him in your hearts. By faith, we give thanks unto God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then we will finish. Praise God. Glory to God. This is the last bit is glory be to God on high and on earth, peace and goodwill unto men. We praise you. We bless you. We worship you. We glorify you you. We give thanks to you for your great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father, Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you that take it away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. You that take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. You that take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You who sit at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. You, for you alone are holy. You alone are God. You alone, O Christ. With the Holy Ghost, are the most high in glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And we can join together in the Lord's prayer. Praise God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Feed upon him in your hearts. Feed upon Christ in your heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise his name. Secretary, please. Are there any children? Good afternoon, church. I'm just here to give the announcement. Today there will, today there will be a um, taste of the Caribbean, and um, Sister Gina will have refreshments at after service on sale. Also, Sister Dorothy would like to see her class after church. On the 13th of April, 
kingdom restoration meeting information will be sent to your class leader the van will be going at 4 p.m the 25th to the 28th of april passover convocation please support the concert and the rally Thank you. It's me again. Okay, first of all, um, thank you very much, um, Junior Secretary, for the wonderful announcement. In addition to the announcement, I would like to add, where are our children? Are they in the house? I want to big up our children because they, you know, we're doing a fundraising to fix our church. You know, if you go outside, you see the plaster falling off the building. So everybody's doing some kind of fundraising event. Our children opened a tuck shop. When did they open the tuck shop? Two weeks ago. And they have raised 70 pounds. Yeah. Come on. I just think that is amazing. So if they're over there, are they over there today? Yeah. They're not, they're not going to, the tuck shop's not there today. But as from next week, They'll be there. Please go and support our children. I also want to acknowledge our sister Lorna Simpson, who has been selling her clothes. She was able to raise 500 pounds. So, and we got loads more, even clothes with tags on. That means they're not weary yet. So, you know, I think, is it today or is it going to be next week? Today, we're going to be over there today, so please go over and, and just support us, you know, in what we're trying to do. And, of course, you know we're, we're having the concert, as our secretary said, and we're going to have uh, our rally. And I'm going to ask everyone that's in the room, please do come out on the 26th and the 27th. We're going to have an amazing time in our rally. There's, there's prizes, a 43-inch TV, Alexa, laptops, you name it, to give away prizes, raffles. It's going to be awesome. And, of course, we have a Passover weekend. We have the whole, uh, from Thursday to Sunday, our Passover weekend. We're going to start with the foot washing and our cedar table, which is on the Thursday. And we have our concert on the Friday. We have our rally on the Saturday. And then we have our worship service on the Sunday, our Passover worship service on the Sunday. And in the first fruits, first fruits worship service on the Sunday. And in the evening, to cream off the whole weekend, we're having a baptism. And some of our candidates are here today. And we want to really acknowledge them. So, all roads, literally, all roads leads to 2A Mallinson Road at the weekend of 25 to 28th of April. Dorothy is looking at me to say something. Tickets, tickets for the concerts will be available next week. And bring, and anyone who's, who's, who's said, who were going to give your gifts for the rally, please bring them in next week as well. Um, there's also, I've got some tickets for End Times concert that is going to be in May. I've got tickets. If anybody wants, come and see me later. Thank you very much, Secretary. Amen. Amen. Let the children come. Greetings, church. This week is Autism Week, Oral Autism Week. So today we get the children to do something on behalf of, we've got two children here who's got autism. One is at the Kimari, as we know, and that's um, the new girl. Yes, yeah, so the kids um, did some drawing pictures today. Ariana, sorry, baby. So they've made some pictures today. And our... Oh, you know what? Before we start, she gave she gave me a shot to do. You know, Sira, Siraya. This is um sister Cicely's granddaughter. Shot. The last time I saw her, she was like two. 
I was like, oh my God, Soraya. Yeah. So I'll hand you over to Ella May. Greetings, church. To today I'll be doing a speech about what is what's autism. About what's autism. Autism is a development developmental ability in the brain where the brain thinks a bit differently than ours. They have their own way of doing things and an odd way of communicating, but it's all because they don't know how to express themselves. There are also different types of autism, non-verbal, verbal, Rett syndrome, Asperger syndrome, childhood disin disintegrate syndrome, but even though they may have a different working brain, their IQ is much higher than the average one. Believe it or not, some of the most famous people, like Albert Einstein, had autism as well, and he was one of the smartest scientists alive. On that note, I would like to introduce my brother Kamari and Ariana, Auntie Sadia's daughter, who has a more serious type of autism than Kamari. Kamari has the behavior side of autism, alongside ADHD. Believe it or not, at the start of the year, he didn't speak. He was non-verbal, but now he is verbal, but that is one of the wonderful things God can do. So if you do see him having a meltdown or any of them, don't laugh or take out your phone because he can't they can't help it. Thanks for listening. Happy Autism Awareness Week. Well done, well done, well done, children. Did you want to show your picture? Yeah, no, Come on, no, hold up your picture and tell them what you do. Tell them what you do. Well, this was a crazy Spider-Man. Go! It's not, it's not, it's not, who is it then? This is Spidey and his friends. Oh. They save the city every day. They have lunch, then they fight crime. as well. I drew a butterfly in the garden. Oh, amen. We just want to um, wish Ariana a happy birthday. Can we just sing her a happy birthday? Oh, yes. And Sister Chanel, should we do it all at once? And Sister Psalms. Anyone else celebrated their birthday in the week? Hallelujah. As we know, Ransom, when it's a child's birthday, we do give them a, a gift of love. And Ariana is very special for us today. Is there, is there, cake? Is there cake? Oh, there's two cakes as well. And, and um, Sadia is one of our candidates for baptism. So let's give her a big, let's big her up. Amen. All right, we're going to sing happy birthday for these wonderful people. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. And we're going to have the uh, benediction given by the preacher. Praise the Lord. May we stand for a benediction, please. And now, may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit of God the Comforter rest, remain and abide with us all now and forever until we meet again in Jesus name we all said
Thank you.